Unreal Engine and the camera. These two things are very very important in now today's industry. So hey guys, what's up? Richard here from World of VFX. Welcome back to this channel once again. Today we'll talk about how you can import a camera from a real footage movement to your Unreal Engine project. Want to know how? Let's find out in this today's video. All right guys, right now we are in Adobe After Effects because we are grabbing the camera movement from After Effects to Unreal Engine. So firstly, we have imported a footage earlier and I just did a very basic level of camera tracking which is a After Effects default 3d camera track and you can see there are a lot of points that already came up here and based on your footage you can exactly select your scene in unreal engine or you can create your scene all right so first of all after uh, like done your camera tracking you have to make a camera so at this initial level i just have to make a ground plane first so here this area is exactly my ground plane so i'm just selecting it like this and right click and set ground plane and origin so it means whatever scene which will happen in unreal engine this area will be the ground area all right so now we have to create some planes which will indicate in unreal engine that where you have to move a camera so it will become a complete guide so just right click and create a new solid and camera so right now we have created successfully a solid and one 3d camera which exactly work in unreal engine so now if i'll go forward i'll just make two three more cards depend on our more depth so i'm just creating a card here and let's see i'll create one card on top of this so just select create a solid so after doing all this we have to save after effects file first and after saving After Effects file, you have to export this project for Cineware, in fact, Cinema 4D. So go to File and then you can find this called Export button and over there you can find this option called Maxon Cinema 4D Exporter. Simply click and after that you will get this option. So just press OK and simply save where you want to exactly save it. So right now our After Effects part is done. So let's jump into Cinema 4D. So right now we are in Cinema 4D, so let's import our file which we have saved earlier from Adobe After Effects. So go to File and go to Merge Objects and where you can find this file, just simply click and it will open. And obviously you will get all these cars and cameras. So first of all, I'm just rename it to Camera so that again it will help you in Unreal Engine. And now no need to do anything, just go to File and you can find this option called Save Project for Cineware because Unreal Engine can't open any file directly. So you have to convert your file in Cineware, then you can exactly open that file in Unreal Engine. So now again, I'm just making it to rename it Unreal Engine, just press Save. So right now we have successfully created our file for Unreal Engine. Now let's jump into Unreal Engine. So all right, we are right now in Unreal Engine. So first of all, before doing anything, you need to enable one plugin. So go to just uh, edit and then plugin where you can find this called Data Smith and you can find this option called Data Smith Cinema 4D Importer. So simply check this on and whenever you check this on, Unreal Engine will ask you for a restart. So simply restart your engine and whatever you've done. So first of all, I have this simple just making uh, input and now let's import our cinema file here so go to here and you can find this data smith and go to file import and where you can simply go to your browser this is your cinemaware file simply click and just press open first of all you will see this window this is basically asking where you exactly want to save your file so simply press ok and initial level uh, the geometry option will off simply check this on and just press import so boom it's imported so right now uh, we have this unreal project file and also one animation file if you double click you can find out this came up as a level sequence so double click here and boom you have your own level sequence so this is a camera so and you can see the view currently which is here so first of all before doing anything you need to create a camera cut so simply go to track and you can find this option called camera cut track simply click and after that go to here and 3d camera tracker to so bind the camera with your input and uh, now simply jump into your camera view so yes uh, this is your basic camera view right now and as you can see you have that exact same camera motions just like this and it's pretty nice and uh, earlier you already uh, mentioned the ground plane so no need to worry about where is the ground and all so simply click and it will automatically import now based on your animation you can simply start doing whatever you want to do also if you want to change the camera positions from one direction to any other direction also if you want to decrease the camera size and all simply click this unreal main project and you can find the scale option simply 
0.1 or 0.5 so now what happened the exact scale is down it's pretty down so now whenever you play you can see this in pretty wide also you can change the camera settings here as well simply click and you can find this film back i'm just making it to 16 to 9 dslr and let's make it to 12 mm to make it more wide so now you can see this is really really wide in fact also you can move it a bit up so simply click and just push it in up axis like this and all animation will automatically update so now let's play and you can see exactly same camera motion which you get from adobe after effects now take this motion render it out make your own scene create some more creative artworks and definitely tag me and also comment your thoughts and my name is Richard. i will see you very soon with some new amazing content in this channel till then have fun and please do subscribe bye bye